Good afternoon. You may be seated. I'm Dr. Andrea Dozier, the interim chair of the Department of Nursing. Uh, we are an entity of the Darton College of Health Professions, and I want to just welcome each and every one of you here to our program today. I want to let you know that we have 55 of the best nurses to be that there are graduates. Yeah. Uh, we have our in the BSN graduates, we have our evening group, and we have our hybrid group. We will follow suit uh, according to the program, and we will have a prayer by Ms. Rhonda Arline. Good afternoon. Let us pray. Our Father, gracious God of heaven and earth, we humbly ask and invoke your presence today at this solemn occasion. Lord God, we thank you for this journey that you have allowed these, your children, to travel. We ask for your continued blessings upon everyone seated here, but more so the graduates of this class, their family, friends, and loved ones. Lord, we continuously ask that you would be a light unto their path and a lamp unto their feet. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sarah Brinson. I'm the Dean of the Darton College of Health Professions here at Albany State University. Today, I have the great honor of introducing our nursing pinning ceremony speaker, Dr. Laura Gosa. Dr. Gosa began her education here at Darton College, where she graduated from the Physical Therapy Assistant Program in 1997. She worked as a PTA for Phoebe Putney Health System for 12 years prior to completing her ASN degree from Darton State College in 2009 and her master's in nursing informatics from Georgia Southwestern in 2016. Dr. Gosa began teaching full-time for the ASU nursing program in the fall of 2018 and recently completed her doctorate of nursing practice. Dr. Gosa's contributions to ASU and our students have been outstanding. During her tenure here at ASU, she has touched many students and has been recognized as a USG Chancellor's Learning Scholar, served countless hours as a star nursing tutor, and was a very valuable member of our SAC COC nursing committee. Even though Dr. Gosa is leaving us, we know that no matter where she lands, she will be an incredible teacher, mentor, and friend to everyone she meets. Please allow me to introduce our 2022 Summer Nursing Pinning Ceremony speaker, Dr. Laura Gosa. Thank you so much, Dr. Brinson, for that warm introduction. Welcome again to Summer 2022 Nursing Pinning. I must say first, wow, you guys look amazing. You are so professional in your nursing graduate attire. Don't they look good? <laughs> for many of you, I taught you in your first nursing course, and for others, you may have heard my voice in a recorded lecture or came to dosage calculation tutoring with me. I want to take a moment now to reflect on your nursing journey and the joys of nursing school. On the first day, you all walked in feeling good and awesome with those big smiles. You had just gotten your acceptance letters. You were feeling like you were on cloud nine, right? right. <laughs> that first day, we did introductions, we read the syllabus, and those first day forms to get you all acquainted with the nursing school rules. The cost of uniforms, books, supplies with the blood pressure cuffs, the pen light, the stethoscope, the gas and time it took for you to get here was very expensive. But don't you worry because it's all going to pay for itself very soon with those nice jobs you're going to have. In fundamentals, you spent time learning about washing your hands and how to do a head to toe assessment and vitals. You were all given the large green bag of dangerous goodies 
for which you were excited about that had things like fake medicine and vials, syringes, needles, urinary caths, enema, NG tubes. You were all thinking, we're going to have fun with all of this. However, it quickly changed when you had to read about a dozen chapters, watch a ton of skill videos, attend tutoring, and practice a ton of questions just to take your first test. You all got a bundle of books, which only weighed about 300 pounds, which, by the way, some of you never really opened in the very beginning. <laughs> but you learned real quick you needed to read, right? And some of you needed Hoyer lifts just to get all your nursing stuff into your cars. You all remember your first clinical day? Taking care of that real patient with urine, vomiting, blood, giving that first injection or the medication, starting that IV for the first time, wiping the backside of your patients. And remember we taught you to keep your smile and your nursing poker faces on, even if you felt like vomiting yourself. Your smiles quickly faded, especially after fundamentals and adult health one, and you all had a sense of wonder, wondering what in the world did you sign up for? In nursing school, you learned all about ADPI, assess, reassess, and assess again. You all started to diagnose yourselves when learning about various diseases and illnesses. And yes, don't worry, family and friends, they diagnosed some of you too. <laughs> You studied for countless hours with zero sleep, and the challenges you faced were great. And if I had to describe it in nursing terms, it would be stress overload related to sleep deprivation, <laughs> information surplus, social isolation, and imbalanced nutrition as evidenced by being in nursing school. <laughs> oh, and the nursing test. Y'all love those, right? especially those select all that apply questions. And my favorite, and y'all's favorite too, were the questions that had all the right answers. You had to choose the most right, right? <laughs> Nursing school was intense. You were taught to think critically, communicate effectively, work as a team, taught the gold standards which could help the patients the most, or heaven forbid, harm, harm them the quickest. Don't forget those rights of medication administration. So in the beginning of nursing school, you all were strangers to each other. You all referred to each other as fellow nursing students, then later called each other classmates, then peers, then friends, now extended family. The trials and tribulations gave you the confidence and courage and wisdom to become nursing graduates. Today, I now see that same excitement and smiles in which I saw on day one when you entered the program. So after all of this nursing school reflection, I wanted to take a few moments to give you some nuggets of wisdom, some words of encouragement. Nursing is a noble profession and nurses are special. Mayo Angelo said, people will forget what you said, they may forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. What a powerful statement. So I have four things for you tonight to encourage you, and I promise to wrap it up so you can go celebrate with your friends and families. Number one, stay focused on God. He will set your path straight and guide and direct you in all you do. Be ready for the battle in healthcare, especially on those difficult days, those days of sorrow, you know, the hard days. Put on the armor of God to help you during these times and appreciate where you are in your journey, even if it's not where you want to be. Every season serves a purpose. Number two, this is a quick story about my dad and his words to me that I wanna pass along to you. You see, I think my dad is the smartest man in this world and he was a high school dropout in the 10th grade. But he loved his children and he always was a hard worker and gave his children a lot of kind words and wisdom on our way out the door to catch the school bus every morning. He would say things like, learn something new today and get out there and go make it happen. Well, I understood the learn something new part, the go make it happen part, I didn't quite understand until much later in life. 
In this, be teachable, be coachable, be willing to try new skills because you never know when it can lead to new opportunities. Be willing to go make it happen. As a nurse, go make a difference in your patients' lives. Go make a difference in the profession of nursing and healthcare and in the world. And don't forget to turn around and lend a hand to the next cohort or generation of nursing graduates as you become a seasoned nurse. Number three, remember your soft skills. I call them skills that pay bills. These are skills which cannot be taught, but you must learn to acquire them if you don't have them. For many of you, these skills come naturally. These are skills which require zero talent, and they are skills such as being kind, being on time, and in the nursing world, we know that's 15 minutes early, right? <laughs> Be a good communicator, a team player, have compassion and a caring attitude. Be motivated and take initiative. Be a hard worker. Remember, a nurse's character is just as important as the knowledge they have. Do you realize many organizations who call for references do not ask about your grades? They want to know, do you have soft skills? So you're now no longer called nursing students anymore. Yay. <laughs> you're nurse graduates. You pass those boards and you're going to be registered nurses. I'm so proud of each of you. Never stop growing or learning and always strive to be more. And lastly, number four, I'll do a quick recap. Stay close to God, go past boards, and go make it happen. Congratulations to you all. You made it. Families and friends, thank you for going to nursing school with these guys. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, good afternoon and what a glorious day. And Dr. Goza, I miss seeing you around the halls of Phoebe. And congratulations, graduates. Truly, it is, and I say a glorious day. And if you're not already on staff at Phoebe or have accepted a position, we have plenty of opportunities for you. Now, parents, brothers, sisters, spouses, we have a new compensation package and absolutely opportunities for you to grow into your career. I wouldn't want it any other way. I have been the chief nursing officer going on seven years and every day I come in I still have joy, meaning and purpose and I hope each of you take with you on your nursing career that feeling of purpose and connection to the patient. So I have the privilege of presenting the Phoebe Clinical Excellence Award. And the Phoebe Clinical Excellence Award is given to a deserving preceptorship student who has demonstrated sound clinical skills, exhibited both professionalism and integrity, and displayed sincere initiative and an eagerness to learn. Students are rated on the following criteria. Demonstration of professionalism in performance, appearance, and all interactions with patients, families, preceptors, and with other team members. Fulfillment of agreed upon time commitment and schedule. Demonstration of competency in required clinical skills. Demonstration of proficiency in prioritizing patients and their needs and the care that's required. Demonstration of high level of customer service and patient-centered care. Initiative and eagerness to learn. So this deserving recipient, when I call you know, the recipient's name up, you will come up, I'll present you with the award, but I also want to share what your preceptor said about you. Is everybody re ready? Drum roll. And the recipient of the Phoebe Clinical Excellence Award is Miracle Rump. Please come forward.
Way, Miracle, congratulations to you. Now, I want to share what your preceptor, Ashley Bailey, said. Miracle will be an awesome nurse. She has an empathetic and caring spirit. Her knowledge on patient care is growing every day. Miracle always asks questions to receive a better understanding of new orders or reports made by the physician. She is willing and eager to learn and always jumps in to help everyone. May you always remember this day and your nursing excellence. Congratulations, Miracle. And now I'll turn it back over to Dr. Dozier and Jennifer Heyer. All right, so Ms. Heyer and I are here to present uh, two awards that we give out every semester. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have different cohorts. So we have uh, uh, recipients from each cohort. The first one is the ASN Outstanding Clinical Award. The criteria are outstanding or significant contribution to ASU's Darton College of Health Professions. This individual needs to have a grade point average of at least 3.0 or above while they are a student in the Darton College of Health Professions. This individual consistently demonstrates outstanding clinical performance. And this individual is selected by the nursing faculty or clinical instructor by a majority vote. I am happy to present to you the recipient from the traditional evening ASN cohort, Outs ASN Outstanding Clinical Award is Margaret Goff. The ASN Outstanding Clinical Award from the hybrid cohort was nominated by their clinical instructor, and that is Mrs. Barty Bart Patel. Now we have the ASN Senior Nursing Student Highest GPA Award. The criteria are <laughs> outstanding or significant contribution to ASU's Darton College of Health Professions, and they had to have the highest GPA in their senior nursing class. I am so happy to let you know that the recipient from the traditional evening cohort is Margaret Goff. The recipient with the highest GPA from the hybrid cohort is Barty Patel. Now we will begin uh, accepting our students for their pins and awards.
Letitia Bailey. Marissa Baker. Melissa Bellflower. <laughs> Rochelle Bivens. <laughs> Whitney Bonaparte. Amber Bragg. <laughs> David Brown. <laughs> Maggie Brown. Shannon Butts. Myra Shares. Gianna Kogel. Robin Cole. <laughs> Tawana Cummings. <laughs> Alexis Curry. Stacy Davis. Shireen Dorfe. Jada Doherty. Michael Driver. <laughs> Casey Duke. <laughs> Mary Eggersman. Lucy Emmekem. <laughs> Maggie.
Maggie Goff. <laughs> Kelly Goolsby. <laughs> April Harrison. <laughs> Aben Hilton. <laughs> Allison Hoden. <laughs> Carolyn Ingram. Brianna Iowane. <laughs> Destiny Johnson. Mercedes Lawrence. <laughs> Daphne Lumpkin. <laughs> Taylor Martins. Felicia Metcalf. <laughs> Ashley Oliver. Jamika Parker. <laughs> Barty Patel. Kayla Phelps. <laughs> Amanda Rowe. <laughs> Miracle Rump. Jill Sapp. <laughs> Morgan Shirley. Don Tavis Simmons. <laughs> Susan 
surface. Robin Sutton. <laughs> Bernicia Tate. Ashley Tyson. <laughs> Tykea Walker. Lena Ward. <laughs> Mary Weaver. Savannah White. <laughs> Brian Williamson. All right, will all our new nursing grads please stand up? You should have a candle. In your program, you have the Nightingale Pledge. If you will say it along with me. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly, in the of this assembly to, pass my life in purity, to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully, I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and to devote myself to the welfare, welfare of those committed to my care. Let's congratulate our nur nursing grads.
Let's give them one more hand. You can be seated. I was supposed to stand up and say thank y'all for coming and have a good day, but I think I have to say a little bit more. This is a special group. I think every semester we say, oh, that's my favorite class. Oh, that's my favorite class. Do you know how many years some of us have been here? How many favorites we probably have? You all will always be part of us and you will always be our favorites. Do y'all feel how proud we are of y'all today? I hope you do. I do hope you do. But before we go, I do want to recognize we have four honor students in the back of the room. If y'all would raise your hands. They were here with us today and helped us with programs and a couple of other um, items. So we, don't, we want to recognize you all and we need to recognize the faculty. Faculty, would you please stand up? So this actually does conclude our summer 2022 pinning ceremony. And as we exit the room, if you would keep your seat while faculty and students exit the room. And thank you all for coming.